Hey guys, welcome again to Hannah's Kitchen. I would like to send my hugs and kisses to everyone who are constantly watching on my videos. Thank you for all the love and support. For those who are new on my channel, welcome. Our recipe for today is bacon and mushroom carbonara. If you would like to know how to create this, Keep on watching! For this recipe, you need bacon, mushrooms. I use fresh mushrooms, but you can also use mushrooms from the can. Two garlic cloves. One cup of heavy cream, one can of thick cream, parmesan cheese, spaghetti pasta, or you can also use fettuccine, but today I use spaghettini. We also need salt and pepper. Okay, let's get started. So first, we're gonna cut our bacon into a small pieces. And then I also mince my garlic using this machine if you really like garlic you need to have this kind of machine but if you didn't have this machine you can mash your garlic manually using a knife and then after that I pre-washed my mushrooms since I'm using the fresh one but if you are using the cans you can pick up the sliced mushrooms so I pre-wash my mushrooms and then we are gonna slice it. I just slice the mushroom thinly like this and we're gonna proceed to cooking okay so let's get started as you notice I have another pot here with hot water we were gonna let it boil and then we're gonna cook in our pasta and then so we're gonna start off with cooking our bacon first so all we have to do is to cook our bacon until you achieve the golden brown crisp of the bacon.
So once you achieve this part, so don't overcook your bacon because you don't want it to dry. So I have here the plate with paper towel. So we're gonna put in our bacon. So the excess fat will gonna be absorbed by the paper towel. Okay, so I disregard the excess oil from the bacon and I just leave about two tablespoons so you can use it to cook with your mushroom. So you cook your, oh, so you cook your mushroom. When I cook it, I put a little bit of salt and pepper to give a flavor to your mushroom. golden brown and then we add our heavy cream and our thick cream you adjust your heat into low and then you're gonna let it boil for a few minutes so our hot water is already boiling on the pot. Let's add one teaspoon of salt. And then we're gonna put in our pasta. And then you just let it boil until the pasta is cooked. So going back with our sauce, when it started to boil, I normally put half teaspoon of the seasoning as you notice that I didn't put salt because I want to wait until I put in the bacon because bacon is salt salty enough so we will try first after we put our bacon if we need more salt and then we are gonna add now our bacon And our Parmesan cheese. Mix it all together and let it boil for a few minutes. So I don't think so that we need a um, salt because the parmesan cheese is already salty and the bacon is already salty and you if you have parsley you can garnish it with parsley but since i don't have parsley right now so i'll just leave it like that so so i turn off the heat and then we're gonna move it to another side of the stove so to avoid from overcooking your sauce and then we're gonna wait until our spaghetti pasta is cooked. So my spaghetti pasta is now cooked. Uh, to determine that your pasta is cooked, you just have to achieve al dente. Do not overcook your pasta because your sauce for the carbonara is hot so you don't have to overcook it so to determine that your pasta is cooked you just gonna break it and then when there's no white color in the middle when it's all clear 
that means your pasta is cooked. And then we're gonna mix it with our sauce. So we're gonna put in our pasta. For me, when you notice my pasta tutorials, I don't normally rinse our, my pasta because rinsing it will gonna make it cold and then you're gonna tend to overcook it because you're gonna boil it again. So normally, I don't rinse my pasta but it's only my preference it's your option if you want to rinse your pasta but personally I don't rinse my pasta so I just go with get it straight from my pot and then move it to my sauce and then you are just gonna mix it slowly when you mix it it's important to use two ladles so you don't ruin your pasta so I just mixed in my pasta and I don't want my carbonara to dry I want it a little bit saucy so to determine that I make sure that you can see there's a little bit sauce on the side because later on the pasta will gonna absorb it and you're gonna achieve not too dry pasta and then it's gonna go to plating and let's gonna try it. So as you can see, I garnished it with more Parmesan cheese on top. And if you have fresh parsley available, you can also chop your fresh parsley and garnish it with on top. And you can serve it with your favorite garlic bread or just a plain toast of bread. And that's it. And Let's gonna try it. So, this is the finished product of our recipe today. The bacon and mushroom carbonara. If you didn't catch up all the list of ingredients, I will write it down in the description below. Hope you're gonna try this at home and hope you love it. And let me know by writing your comments in the comment section how your carbonara turns out. Thank you again for watching everyone, please take care, stay safe, stay healthy, have a good day and I will see you again on my next video.